Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and, we, and we're here to talk about how to add binomials and trinomials with fractions. Now, let's talk about what the definition of a binomial is, as well as the definition of a trinomial, and you'll understand where the fractions are coming from. Now, the definition of a binomial is a two-term polynomial. So, in other words, it's a polynomial with two terms, and a trinomial is a three-term polynomial. Now, here's the thing, though. The key word is polynomial because polynomial, part of the characteristics of a polynomial, is you cannot have fractions in the exponents of the variable. So you cannot have x to the 2 thirds or y to the 1 fifth, things like that. The only way the fractions can exist in a polynomial is the coefficients themselves. So when it comes to a binomial and a trinomial, the fractions can only be in front of the variable. So in other words, an, a fraction binomial would be a 2 thirds x squared minus, let's just say, 1 fifth y to the third. And a trinomial would have three terms. With fractions involved, you might have, for example, 1 half x to cubed minus 2 fifths x squared minus 4 fifths x. Now, if you want to add these, the only way you can really add them is to see if they have any like terms. Otherwise, you have to kind of leave them as is. Now, the bases and the exponents have to match for you to combine them. So the, only, the like terms are the x squared. And looking at the example that we have, that's pretty much it. So what you really have to do is these terms are rewritten as is. That means the y cubed term, the x cubed term, and the x term are written as is. The only ones you can combine is the x squared terms, but you would have to find the least common denominator to do that. But other than that, when it comes to adding binomials and trinomials with fractions, the coefficients are where they can exist. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a strategy on how to add binomials and trinomials and fractions.